you might be wondering, you know, there's this other like ultra secret bonus game on the schedule. Like what's that all about? A Super Mario Maker 2 showcase, including, and that's why we're announcing this at Task Block, you have to hit the milestone of $2.3 million total. I'm Dwango AC. I'm the keeper of Taskbot right here. And with me on the couch, I have Panga, Jakku, and Melos. We're here to show you something very unexpected. But before we show you Taskbot playing a level of Super Mario Maker 2, we're going to have Panga show you what this level is like. It is not a nice level. Now, we never human shame. Panga is Hopefully good. Not. Um, <laughs> but this level is evil. So I'm going to hand it over to Melos. He's going to take it from here. All right, so this is a level that we created specifically to show off the abilities of this new task device. The level was made so that it is beatable by a human, but it is it has another side to it, too. It has a very, very mean path, and we're going to have Panga try that path real quick and see how far he can make it. All right, well, I've never seen this, so I'm excited to see how bad it can be. Good luck. Fantastic precision. Oh, I get it. I'll yeah. pull not into the door. Oh, God. That door seems <laughs> good. All right, good start. Yep. Wait, this jump already I'm not even going to be able to do. <laughs> oh, you can do this. It's one pixel. <laughs> this might take a while. We'll give you a couple minutes. That's all I need. So a task is a tool-assisted speedrun. The goal is to use tools to assist a human in playing the game. It's not artificial intelligence. I can't even tell if I'm moving. You're moving. Oh. <laughs> well, you're definitely moving into something. Go. So what's, what's special about this device is that we've had a problem for a while where we had devices that could do input to the Nintendo Switch. People have seen that in both Mario Maker and in Splatoon in the comments where some of the crazy drawings people have done. But a member of the community, I'm, I'm probably gonna get this wrong, his name is Kunflorpen, designed a new device based on that, and they found a way to solve the lingering problem of how do you time your inputs? And this is what we ended up with here, which we'll demonstrate in just a minute. So this level is specifically designed to show frame precision, pixel perfect, movement. And as you can see, those blocks are evil. Those spikes are so mean. Yeah, the hitbox is giant compared to what you see on screen. Like, it might look like I make this jump, but probably not. So this is hard. And the tool-assisted speedrun allows you to try a certain section of the game, back up, and try again. So that you can get very, very precise movement. And one of the reasons why uh, tasking in Super Mario Maker 2 actually works is because the levels RNG is predetermined, um, unlike Super Mario Maker 1, where the RNG was literally random every time. Yeah, we need deterministic response. If, if we're trying to, uh, to send a predefined sequence of button presses as if we were a player piano, we need it to always respond the same way. We need to make sure everything is deterministic. And for modern games, that's very rare. Most games determine their RNG based on other things, such as the system clock or other factors. Mario Maker is very unique in the fact that it will always respond the same from the beginning of a level when you press A on start level. Do you want to call it? Do you want to maybe... Wait, I want to peek what's in the door. Check okay. the door. Yeah, check the, the door. door. This one's for chat. Wow, this looks easy. Oh, this is my type of level now. <laughs> if you die... Maybe not. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> well, there goes my ride. <laughs> that's, that's I think I'm gonna call it. For. <laughs> You're gonna call it? Yeah, I'm gonna call it there. All right. All right. So then I'll take this real quick and get us set up. What do you think of the design? Oh, well, it's fantastic. <laughs> I recommend it to anyone. 
And so just so anybody knows, this is a level that is uploaded. It is human completable through that second path. It was not designed to be an impossible level. It was not designed to hold world records or anything. It's just there, and the level code is available. Which we don't have it up Somewhere. right now, but it'll come up when we start the level. Yeah. So give me a second to connect the device, and we'll be good to go. We're going to actually pair the, the device as a controller. Now, one thing I should note while he's doing this, we are using a completely unmodified switch, a completely unmodified copy of the cartridge, a completely unmodified dock. Uh, we are offline for various reasons, but we, this is completely, completely uh, valid hardware. And unmodified in every way. All right, and we are ready to go here. So let's go. No hands. You can learn from this. Oh, yeah, this is me playing right now. Easy. <laughs> wow. You just had a jump. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's just a jump. I mean, can't be that hard. One misstep and everything completely collapses. So that part of the level is actually designed so that if that platform falls, it guarantees you die because it actually removes the platform under the door. Do you think you could do that? Yeah, I'd just jump over on the left side. Just give me enough uh, years and maybe I can get past the first jump. <laughs> <laughs> Loves the momentum that those give you. Easy. How many frame perfect jumps in the row was that? Eight. eight. Seven or eight. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And so this this is actually a new piece of tech I don't think anybody has ever seen. Yeah, this should be fun. You should try this at home. What is this? The link cover. <laughs> Apparently, Link can fly with his boots. Wow. Incredible. Do you think you could beat it now that you've seen how it's done? Oh, easy. I'll just take the door every time. <laughs> <laughs> so as always, this is this is a, made with a, a lot of hard work. Conflorpin put in quite a bit of time and effort into making this happen. Uh, if you'd like to join us, you can join us at discord.tas.bot. You can find more tool-assisted speedruns on tasvideos.org. And as always, we thank you so much for everything you've done to support us over the years. Taskbot content has, has really, or task content at these GDQ events and other events has really taken off, and it would not have happened without everyone else's support. Thank you so much for everything. Is there anything else you guys want to say? It's, this is a truly unique situation for the task community. This, this was created without all of the advanced tools and developed software that all of the newer tasks have. So this is not something that could be put together for an event. This took a lot of effort to build. Yeah, this was, this was not easy stuff. Huge credit to Conflorpin. There were a lot of other people who uh, paved the way ahead of time, uh, Zitzkin and a lot of other folks in the Taskbot community. You're welcome to join us at discord.task.bot. Thank you so much for everything. That concludes our content for this event. Thank you.